<laughs> Hello. Guy. How are you, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> We're back. It's been a couple of years. Hi, man. I'm, uh, nice to see you, buddy. Nice to see you too. Do you remember before when I just started, I, I gave you clean drink. I remember. And you got a little bit addicted. I remember. It was the apple taste. Yeah. I remember that. Now I have to give him the, the new taste. There you go. Yeah. So we're going to see. I don't really know what we're going to do today. He's got the idea. I just told him like it feels like uh, I think that I'm a little bit stuck in my paddle, obviously. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know how to take the next step and yeah. what to actually drill. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to, we're actually, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I haven't seen your plane in a while. No, Mr. Pater, Filio, Espiritu Santo. Let's see what we find. But... We're not going to focus so much on technique because you know how hard it is to change technique if you don't put the hours. And this happens to many of the people, you know, that they yeah. watch tutorials, the technique. Well, if you don't put the hours, no. you know, this is not... You like need a, a ball maker. machine in your living room. Yeah, and you need somebody <laughs> beside you. You need yeah. a good coach because sometimes you think you do things in one way, but you actually don't. Technique is difficult to change. Yeah. But with what we have, we will see what we can do the best of it. Exactly. You know, I think this is the smart thing, not to think so much about the things that you don't know, is like, all right, with what I have right now, how can I make the best and the most of exactly. it? This is actually, I see this in all the players. They tend to focus on the things that they, don't, they do wrong. Yeah, exactly. You know? Oh, my forehand sacks. Yeah. Uh, my, my, this sacks. <laughs> well, but your backhand doesn't. Exactly. But so rather than thinking about all the negative things, try to think about what is positive in your game. As we always say, I think somebody was asking, what is the most important? Exactly. What is less important and what is not important at all? And don't put the focus on what's not important on the small stones and focus on the big ones, the ones that are going to make you win, the, yeah. the reliable ones. Let's go. Look at this. Bought this in France. <laughs> this guy. Like me? Like it? Professional. Cool. We're going to start with patterns. Okay. That imagine you play the match situation. You play, you've played a lot with the backhand. You move in. You block the bandeja with your volley. Yeah. The other guy lets it bounce, tries to pass you with a lob and you say no. But then you also know that he's going to come in. Exactly. Yeah. We need to... Put, create these yeah. imaginary stories exactly. that resonate like a puzzle match. Exactly. So then you are working on anticipation. Just, uh, Before you hit, you already know what that person is going to do. Yeah. Come. Yes. And touch. Oh. There we go. And. And then. Exactly. Exactly. And. There. And put it down. Put it down. Oh. It flies too much. Okay. More if down. If I was here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have the ball here. That ball needs you to go down. You want it to down. go on your feet or blow your face? The lower, the better. Okay, lower. Yeah. If then I was getting too close to cut the angles, then you blow my face. Yeah. But now we're working on putting the ball down. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. And now just down. Oh. Exactly, exactly. Here we go. Yes. And now put it down, put it down. Oh. There, exactly. Here we go. Again. And now put it down, put it down. Oh. There. Yeah. Exactly. So I have no option whatsoever to block Just, your shot above the net. Yeah. Everything is below. So then you retain the possibility to go in. Yeah. This is a fight in the end to see who can retain the net. Exactly. Yeah. The one who puts it lower and the one who blocks up there is the one who keeps the net. So, At the moment that you feel that this overhead no longer forces you to put the ball down and you can actually receive it more convenient. To win the point. Release. Release. Like a yeah? yeah. And this is what we said there on those moments. This is where you see a lot of players that they prepare the bandeja in different ways. Yeah. Elbow higher, elbow lower. Yeah. Elbow higher, safer, better angle, more consistency, but you're also more predictable. Okay. Lower, a bit more complex, but you can put much more on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Now everybody in Sweden will go, fuck, now I need to put the elbow lower. No, 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 no. because that is not important. No. But every now and then, every one out of 10, especially if you feel you're in a comfortable position, I want you to try it. Relax a little bit more, spice it up. Okay. Yeah? Short preparation. If you feel that bandeja doesn't allow you to put the ball down and you need the hook, yeah, yeah? exactly. then rack the it up and put it down. Eh? But yeah. the ball needs to go down. Exactly. Already. Yeah. <sighs> yes. And that point is over. No more balls <laughs> coming because it was perfect. Yeah. This is fundamental that not many people understand. My instructions, if I play with you, about where that guy is stopping. If I don't give you the information and you're looking up into the ball, you yeah. don't know the references. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so don't expect that you're going to play the best shot because you can sense that person. If you can, fantastic, but many players can't. So for the person here beside you, they need to talk to you. Yeah. Yes, that's why they say nada, 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 nothing, yeah. nothing, nada, Step nada. Back. Medio, 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 yeah. medio. Pegado, pegado, tight, very tight. Mm. 
then you can decide. Does Hami speak to you when you play together? Yeah, he tries. He tries? Yeah. <laughs> he just say, mean, 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 mean. Me, 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 me. <laughs> me. You're too bad. Me, me, me. <laughs> Blocky with decision, huh? That was too good, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> but now I also know it's coming and I'm standing perfectly. Exactly, but how many people hesitate? If you're going to hesitate, stay back. Exactly. Because if you're, in the end, you're going to receive a smash. It's a bandeja, it's a bibura, but it's a hard one. You have, how much time do you think you have from the moment I play to the moment you block? Oh, 0 0.2 yeah. seconds. So. so if you don't have the commitment and the decision, better to stay back. Otherwise, yep. you're going to screw it up. Here we go. Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. Yes, and now try to block it and put it up. Exactly. Yes. Now block it, put it down. Yeah. Exactly. And I love this. Yeah. This yeah, means get ready, man. <laughs> get ready. There you have it. Me. Perfect. 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 Smart players are the ones that play with position. If you're out of position and then on top of that, the game is going too fast. Obviously, you're going to die. Double trouble. Double trouble, triple trouble. <laughs> yeah. Every time you run back for a placement smash, for a gancho or a soft bandeja or whatever, you come around. I'm going to try to pass you with the lob, and I want to see this ball always to the fence. Okay. Yes? But we want to see the ball to the fence before the four meter. We're going to assume that the players, when they go in to block your rulo, to block your placement, they actually stop fairly close. Yeah. The worst players they are, the further they will stop. So they give you more margin here. Yeah. But now we're assuming that it's a good player, yeah? So you have to be able to achieve this fence. Yes or yes? Okay. Here we go, touch. Ah. There, too almost, deep, almost. shorter. Here yeah. we go, come on. Let's go. Ah. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes! <laughs> Epic! <laughs> Imagine how much I need to close the net. Very often players are stressed, they try to hit a bit harder. Too hard, yeah. They cannot get the angle, then they need to play straighter. And then even if I stop here, I can block it and I can counter-attack you. Yeah. Go. Here we go. Uh. There we go. Let's go. Feel in front. Uh. There we go, there we go. Exactly. Feel in front. Here we go. Uh. Yes. Try to hit it in front. Try to hit it in front, in front of you. So you can put it down, in front, ah. there, there. Exactly, that ball cannot pass you. In front, in front, ah. there, exactly. Yes. Don't let the ball go behind you, Patrick. In front of you, ah. yeah, Sorry. Go again. Come on, last four, ready. Now is when I want ah. to see what you're made of. Now yeah. is when I want to see what you're made of. When you start getting tired. Ah. Yes, exactly, four meters, the limit. I want to see three meters. Ah. Here we go, no, that was <laughs> shit. Meter. Come on, again, ready. Here we go, here we go! Oh. That's why you need to fight like no other to hit it in front. And this shows you that in a real match, if you feel you're gonna touch it behind, better to let it go. Especially forehand players, because yeah. they are much more exposed. For backhand players, they face more angles. You have more weapons, but here at the moment the ball passes you, golden rule, let it bounce. Forehand player, 50% more of the times than a backhand player. Again, come on. In front, front, there, wow, <laughs> wow. This is, a, this is a very stressing exercise, but the better players you play against, the more accurate you need to be. The yeah. players are not so good, that is not even needed. But when no, the players it. are good, you have to be a master at putting the ball down. Yeah. You really need to be a master at putting the ball down, wherever area it is, here, in the middle, whatever, but ball down, so whoever wants to come in, has the ball always below the net. Vital. But everybody is very sometimes excited about power. Yeah. About, no, I'm gonna play the vibora of my life. Yeah. Yeah, and then they come in, they block it. Yeah, what are you talking about, vibora? With yeah. my volley, I can control everything. Yeah. Many players are like that. So now we're talking about volley. Yeah, volley. Volley. This is important because there's, there's two big issues in the volley, yes. We know that first thing is that we always say that when you are going to play a volley, you try to step at the same time, yeah? Yep. You do your split step, of course, to see where the ball goes, but we always say then step forwards when you strike. Yeah. And ideally that step should happen at the same time that you strike. Yeah. For normal volleys, it is correct, yes? But often that varies. Yeah. Often you step first, you stop, and then you volley, or often you volley and then you step. What does it depend on? Aggressive volley, 
transition volley, defensive volley. Yeah. For example, if I'm pushed to the side, I will probably hit the volley and then step. Yeah. If I play an aggressive volley because the ball is easy, what do players do? They stop, they swing, and they release everything. Yeah. Releasing with the stepping makes no sense. It's like the ball is going to go to the moon. Okay. So for normal volleys, step at the same time. Defensive, hit and step. Yeah. Aggressive, step, step and hit. Yeah, okay. And the second one is, we always say you need to step forward. But how many balls are coming to your body? Well, a lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a normal reference to aim at, yeah. yes? Where in particular, if we go more precise, to the right hip of the player. Not the left, why? Because with your backhand volley, the elbow is not in the way, you can protect yourself better. But here, this is a very... Of course, you need to have the control on the ball. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, when the ball is coming to the body, it's impossible to step in. I see many players that the coach says, step in, and the ball comes to the body, they can't, and they say, sorry, coach, you know, it's my bad. No, what the hell? When the ball is coming to the body, you cannot step in. So what do we do? Step inwards, which you do very well. Yes, we could potentially step back, yeah. yeah, but don't step in when the ball is coming to the body because there is no physical space. No. When the ball is coming at you, how do you step in? It's very difficult, mm. yeah? Ready? Vamos. Let's go. Here we go. Come. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Fine, but that's fine. Yeah. The ball floats, step, stop, release. How much you release? How good are you? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so then don't release so much. <laughs> but I have seen Juan Tello doing <laughs> this. Here we go. Hand. Sorry, couldn't. Ah! ah. <laughs> Hand. Good. Ready. Hand. Good. Ready. Good. Ready. Ah! Ah! Yes. Eso. <laughs> Where did it bounce? Before, yeah. This is super important. If you see that, for example, I'm a tennis player or I hate the walls, then yes, you volley deeper. Yeah. But with somebody that knows how to use the walls, be very careful about volleying so deep. Because if it doesn't have the slice, They're just gonna you get counter-attack. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Good, perfect volley, perfect. Here we go, good. Brilliant. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Go. Ah! Ah! Vamos! Ah! 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 Cabron! <laughs> Danny Dios is still fast. <laughs> I am, I am! Do you know your control position, your attack position, and your defense position at the net? Let's say that we're playing against a forehand player. Position of control. Where should we stand? The position of control is taken as long as you know that that person cannot play on the short angle. Yeah. As long as that is not on the equation, then we take position of control. Yeah. Yeah? You're covering a bit more the middle. Yeah. And a little bit further back. Why? Because the lob diagonal is yeah. more easier to get. And I will stay just in front of you, a little bit closer to the side. Position of attack. Not only he cannot play the angle, he, they cannot play a lob. So then we can both close the net. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a little bit closer. But what is the position of defense? And then all options are open. This happens a lot. Yeah. Then I go tight, tight, tight. And what do I do? Why do you go tight? And then what do I do? You Why do you go tight? I go tight to cover the angles. But you don't cover the lob. No, that you, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> but you much if rather not, lose the net than exactly, loosen the point. Exactly. That's what and, I'm thinking. Yeah. And then where do I stay? Because as you said, then it's my job. So if I go tight, no, you can't. maybe it's not my job. So my position of defense is the same as the position of control. Yeah. So you are the one pivoting behind and in front, depending on what they can do. Yeah. But what do many club players do when we play a terrible shot? They back up. Yeah. They back up. You can only do that if you play against a psychopath, because you know that with an easy ball, they're going to hit a bullet 300 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Then you can back up. Or if you know that the pattern of play of the guy is when he has an easy ball, he will lop. Mm. But when you play with a paddle player, one step back and you know what happens. It's going to drop, yeah. yeah. You have somebody very good with that, Solano, Vindal's partner. Yeah. When the ball is on the forehand and it's easy, the angles that he plays. So the last thing you can do against Solano is to give one step back against a good ball. Lose the net, but you don't lose the point. Mm. Now we're on the cross court. Yep. If I can, I will try to play angles. Yeah. All right? Perfect. Here we go. Yes. There you go. Here you go. Vamos! Here we go. Ah! ah. Very good. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. 
Come. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Vamos! <laughs> Ten points. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect volley. Grounded. Not too bouncy. Ah. Remember position yeah, of defense. Yeah. You know that the defender, normally a good defender, will always defend with the racket low and open. What for? To show you that I have all options. Exactly. So you cannot back up, huh? No. This is what should happen. That I should never attempt the angle. I should always go for the lob. Yeah. Many players, this is a reality, they defend not so well that they constantly back up to protect the overhead. Yeah. But then they expose the angles and then everybody starts playing freaking chiquitas. No, no, it's the lob. But if you step back, of course, I'm going to kill you with the chiquita. <laughs> Run. Ah. Accelerate. What? Yes. Again, front, good, front, good, yes. yes, exactly, exactly. Here we go, careful, eh? <laughs> exactly, that's why the position of defense is whenever there is an angle, get close. Last three. Ah. Why you step back? Ah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing with your positions. Yep. So then you force me always to play the most difficult shot. And you always force me, if not, to play my easiest shot, which will be your easiest shot as well. Exactly. What we always say boxing. Yeah. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Swedish paddle. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no, you don't box like that. No. The guy will be like, what the hell? You don't, I don't even have to on the floor. Yeah. It's 50 balls, 50 balls, 50 balls, 50 balls. But at the moment somebody is out of position, then you have an opportunity. Yeah. But if you close the opportunity, start again, start again, start again. And that's when, that's when paddle is long. Yeah. You know, there's no shortcuts in those moments. And those who try to find shortcuts are the ones 6460 six, that yeah. they get stressed in a certain moment. And all it takes is a break. And then they say, my God, I need to recover the break back now. Six four six one. Yeah. Good session. Good session. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, you made me run. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you you actually did. Look, <laughs> one sweat drop. And then I have a game tonight. Actually, I'm playing with uh, Juan Fosch, who okay, won Fosch. the bronze in the Swedish championship. I saw it. They were playing with Govik. Yeah. Govik. Yeah. Good couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's crazy. Stubra <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oj, fuck. All right. Ursäkta det dåliga ljudet. Mick. Micken är inte igång. Men vi tackar. Tack snälla för att du har kollat. Hoppas det gav dig någonting. Kommentera gärna och glöm inte att prenumerera på kanalen. Jag körde tre timmar enkel väg för det här passet. Det var jäkligt värt det för mig. Jag hoppas det gav dig någonting också. Så ses vi på nästa. Tycker du är kul att göra de här träningsvideon också? Bra för min motivation som har varit lite låg på sistone. Men nu, nu gasar vi. Och vi gasar tillsammans. Vi ses på nästa.